Around the world, the body of Christ is under attack. A congregation forced out in Algeria. Bibles burned in southern India. A Christian's home destroyed in Vietnam. And in China, an unregistered church is demolished. Just in the top 50 countries on the 2020 World Watch List, so many Christians are beaten, attacked, tormented, and killed for their faith in Jesus. In fact, right now, more than 260 million Christians live in areas of high persecution. That's one in eight Christians worldwide. Each year, the World Watch List tracks persecution against Christians around the world to help us understand what's happening in the global church and how we can pray and support our suffering family. As I stand here in China, I can tell you that behind the numbers is a story that challenges and inspires my faith. China is number 23 on this year's World Watch List, but that number doesn't tell the whole story. I wanted to find out the truth behind the ranking. I've been all over China, and I can tell you that it's an incredible country with breathtaking beauty, an amazing culture, and a history second to none. But the church here tells a different story. Christians are increasingly being pushed underground in China. Pastors are being detained. Churches are being closed. And people who have a personal faith in Jesus are being watched using technology that was never available before. The church is being squeezed in China. But sometimes when the church is squeezed, it grows. And China is just one country on the 2020 World Watch List. Christians around the world are being pressured, targeted, and attacked. The Christians in the top 50 countries on this year's list may be suffering, but we can stand with them in prayer and support. We invite you to join us in 2020 as we stand with our sisters and brothers around the world. Open Doors is serving in over 60 countries around the world, standing with the persecuted church. We'd love for you to join us. We are one church, one family.